Hey friends, it's Shane from How to Wrench, and we are actually standing in Africa, in Ghana to be exact, and in a city called Accra. And we have been uh, commissioned to uh, fulfill a contract here with a company out of San Francisco that does uh, quite a bit of work here out of, uh, look at a motorcycle, there's a million of them here, out of uh, multiple spots in Rwanda and Ghana, and they're going worldwide with this operation. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what they do here in a second, but a lot of you have been like, where have you been? What's been going on? Where?" Uh, Where's how to wrench uh, been, you know, at? And this video is kind of just to make a little bit of explanation on where we've been. You know, working as a private contractor here, there's some limitations on what we can say and do and and uh, confidentiality agreements and so on. So I'm at that point where we fulfilled that contract and we know what we can and can't say and we can really talk about where how to wrench has been. And the thing that's really cool to our YouTube channel or to our viewers that I think will really relate to this is we've been talking about craftsmanship and greatness and what we do and and great tools and products and companies and this company that we've been working with called Zipline International they shoot a drone up in the air and, and deliver life-saving medical supplies and deliveries to uh, places on earth that would otherwise be very difficult to get them or it would be uh, almost impossible to do it in a timely manner where the life could be saved so uh, if you've seen all our videos in the past about the checklist and things we've done you obviously would know right away that that really lines up with us and you might be kind of wondering well how in the world would how to ranch or with Shane have any understanding or knowledge about drones or about you know uh, such unbelievable software that's completely autonomous autonomous uh, well stay tuned in this video and you can see why because it's a pretty cool story we are so excited to share it with you and we look forward to uh, a longer relationship uh, with this company uh, Zipline International so check this out The technician training program at Zipline is pretty extensive. Uh, there's quite a bit of lab and lectures you'll see in some photos here, but uh, you really got to understand what they're doing so they can uh, use this amazing technology to uh, help Zipline's quest of uh, saving lives and providing uh, health care to uh, remote areas all over the world. The staff at uh, Zipline International is pretty amazing. They really hire well. Uh, the student base uh, is not afraid to uh, uh, hire women, as you can see, in technician positions. We found that to be very encouraging. These students were just an absolute pleasure to work with. Uh, they believe in Zipline's mission as, as much as the company itself. So, yeah, we're having a good time in this training, but they took it really serious into heart and understood uh, how how uh, purposeful it needed to be. We really trained with some uh, extreme ownership in what they're doing. We used How to Wrench's resources to create these kinds of training aids to uh, impact that understanding. Check it out. Keep wrenching is just nuts and bolts. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, how absolutely cool is that? Uh, it's pretty wild to think about the different skill sets that we have as technicians and where we can apply them. I would have never, ever guessed that I'd be uh, working with a drone company. I mean, we've worked with, uh, obviously, motorcycle technicians is the big part. We've worked with uh, uh, auto technicians, even some aircraft, uh, maintenance, building, industrial. I've trained so many different people in so many different industries in the last 15 years. Uh, I couldn't tell you how long it's been uh, since it's been something new until right now. I, I just had never expected anything would come this way. And I really reflected training these students and just thinking about, you know, what was I gonna come up with? What was the content gonna look like? You know, these, in the all, matter of fact, all these students were actually engineers. So it was like, God, what could I teach them? And uh, so it was, it was just unbelievable to think about the opportunities this world provides when you just invest in yourself and you gain good skill sets that you can use universally. Using wrenches, uh, using you know uh, mechanical and electrical skills, we are never going to be unemployed. I mean, even in the drone environment where it goes into such a you know software, there's so many like. Uh, 
I apologize, I don't know the name of the different engineers, but all the engineers do the software and the hardware. There's so many through this company, it's like mind blowing walking through their operations and, and knowing that they're writing code and what they're doing and all that. But it still takes technicians to be able to turn wrenches and be able to work through that to uh, you know complete their overall mission. And you know, the thing I just so gravitated towards and loved working with these technicians is that they realize they get it every nut and bolt they touch like it has to work there's no option if that work that they do whether it's a repair or whether it's just maintenance doesn't work there's someone's life on the other end i've been talking about that forever in motorcycles being how we have just two wheels i mean it's just you know crazy how much uh i see people put their hands on something and i think gosh darn it were you at all thinking about there's someone's life on the line with zipline it's just it's not even a question like everybody gets that there is a, a you know the customer if you will that the life that's going to be saved on the other end of that mission is crucial and so they they loved the uh integrity and the craftsmanship and the understanding like hey what we touch really matters let's dig really deep let's get have extreme ownership into learning about how to be a technician so I want to thank Zipline for choosing How to Wrench to uh, to have me part of this process. Uh, we hope to continue uh, a relationship and maybe even uh, do a lot more with Zipline. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. All I know is we are super excited about such a fantastic company. So you've seen me talking a lot about tools and companies in the last year, and really trying to you know get some positive uh, you know content out there in the world. And this is another one of those videos. So thank you again. Uh, I want to thank all the How to Wrench fans and customers. Thank you for your patience. Uh, as we've just been uh, really going through this change of you know going uh, full-time with this and and uh, the switch from you know the past career here in California and moving and everything else so it's been a while but we are excited to have some content and be back and more importantly as we work on these contracts with uh, customers and clients and you know products and tools and whatnot we just we want to promote you know great quality uh products and people out there in this world so amen to that i'm going to uh make it a day i gotta pack up and get on a plane and start to make that 24-hour journey back home to america and i'm gonna try and take in a little bit of local scenery before i go so as always we say make it a great day and keep wrenching hey what are you doing have you hit that subscribe button that notification bell you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up.